What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am After Sound, and we bring you Splinter Lens content every single day. And we got some crazy news for you guys. Uh, I also stream over on Twitch at This Is After Sound. So come by, say hello. We do giveaways every single stream. And uh, would love to see you over there. So we do giveaways there. We do giveaways here. Just make sure to leave your name, in-game username, in the comments section. So what am I looking at today? Uh, SPS and DEC are through the freaking roof. Uh, let me go ahead and just go to my watch list here. You guys are going to be able to see some of the coins that I'm watching. Again, none of this is financial advice. But, you know, if anybody else is interested to see what I've been looking at, uh, if you can quickly scan through what I'm, what I'm doing. No, I'm just messing with you guys. Okay. Let's look at SPS. I'm on coin market cap right now. It is Sunday, October 10th at just before noon on uh, just before noon central time. We have crossed 90 cents. We are so close to that $1 mark. We are up 36% since last night. And last night, I feel like is when we, we really started to make a move. So we're up 36% overnight. We're up 65% on the week. And DEC is right there with it. Um, actually, it looks like DEC dropped a little bit, but DEC is up 16% overnight uh, and 50% over the week. And I guess what we're looking at, yeah, DEC hit 0.015 earlier on. Okay, so I wasn't going crazy. Um, so this is crazy. So I know, guys, I know I've been saying get out of DEC, but I'm happy for those of you who are holding DEC. I am still holding some DEC. Like I said, I am dollar cost averaging out. So I love, love, love seeing the number go up. Don't get me wrong, because that means I can afford more. As well, actually, DEC and SPS are kind of going up at the same or similar rates. It looks like SPS went up a little bit. I loved a, uh, maybe a week ago where they both shot up and then SPS dipped and I went in and, and DEC didn't dip as much. So I, I quickly converted a bunch of my DEC into SPS. But um that's probably what I will continue to do. Again, not financial advice. I'm just looking at, I'm just looking at it that way. Uh, but yeah, it's crazy to see DEC rising just as much. I do worry though. I do worry what will happen once Chaos Legion comes out. And actually, I, I'm a little worried now. Seeing a chart up 35% overnight always makes me nervous. I have come to a point in my crypto trading career and crypto investing career that, um, you know, I love the number go up, but it, I always got to take profits. And that's, that's the struggle that I have with this investment is because it's also a game and I don't know what my exit strategy is. And I, I appreciate the patience. Everybody's been asking me, what is your exit strategy? What are you going to do? I don't know. Right now I'm just trying to accumulate as much SPS as possible, but seeing it go up by 35%, whew, it may, it's, it makes me happy, but it also makes me nervous. Um, because he, here's the thing, right? Like, let's go over to this. And I just refreshed it, but we're going to refresh it one more time. We are now, as of a couple minutes ago, at 129 million SPS staked. Oh, come on, game. You were just working for me. I don't know what's going on. Every every time I record a video, it just takes forever. Okay, well, you know what? Forget you. We're going to go back to this chart. Uh, we are we were at about 129. We might be, by the time you see this video, we might be at 130 million SPS staked. And yeah, it's still not showing up right now. That is more than half of the 240 million SPS that are in circulation, right? We're going to get more th over the next couple of months, but, um, seriously, what, what is going on here game? Okay. Well, let's go back here. Uh, I didn't just make this video because I wanted to celebrate. Obviously, I do want to celebrate the fact that SPS is going up. I'm also very sad that SPS is going up because I want to buy more of it. <laughs> and it hurts to buy it when I hate buying on green days. I love buying on red days. I hate buying on green days. Green days are for selling. But um, here we are. The one thing I wanted to show you guys is with the with more than half of the um with more than half of the supply, right? 130 million out of the total 240 million in, being staked. That means that we are experiencing a severe supply shock, right? People want SPS. There is not that much on the market. We all knew or had a very strong feeling that this was going to happen as more and more SPS were staked, more and more people were coming to the game, more and people, more and more people want SPS, but it is just not available at all of these different exchanges. There is that supply shock. I just want to warn you that supply shock works both 
ways, right? There is not as much SPS around right now. So if there is a whale sitting in liquid, meaning not staked, but liquid SPS, here we go. So we're at 129 million and we're at 110 million liquid, right? So this is there's 110 million SPS floating around there. And we don't know, well, we could look and see what potential wallets they're in. Um, I'm not going to get that technical. All I'm going to say is just, just be careful, right? This is not financial advice, but price can go down just as quickly. There is a massive demand right now outside of market euphoria because of Chaos Legion coming up literally in just over a week. So people are trying to get as much SPS as possible. But always, I'm just, I feel like I need to do my my due diligence and and let you guys know beware of whale games we are all small fishes in a very big pond where there are plenty and plenty of whales and i'm not saying that a whale would it, i'm not saying that somebody wants to dump because they don't care about chaos legion actually i am saying that somebody wants to dump because they don't care about Le chaos legion they see a 30 percent gain here and what they could potentially do is push the market back down to 80 75 cents and then scoop everything up because people start panic selling right and there are a lot of people out there who have no idea who, who lamacron is there are people out there who are buying this token because they heard it's a cool game but they don't care anything about the game and they are just here for the investment and token price appreciation and they will sell if they see a cascading uh kind of liquidation or some or a whale that's pushing the price back down they will take profits right for me just being fully transparent with you all of my SPS is staked. Literally all of my SPS is staked. I, I I feel so nervous right now because I don't have any exit plan. I'm still trying to form one in my head. But as SPS goes up, I'm as an investor, I'm way overweighted towards SPS right now, which is which does not make me feel comfortable. But it does make me feel good because I mean it it's it does make me feel good for that reason, but it makes me uncomfortable as an investor. So I need to figure out what that's gonna be and then uh, at some point if it's appropriate, I'll share it with you guys. So that was the first thing, just to be aware. The second thing is I, I love comparing SPS to Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity is the game. It's, it's kind of like the gold standard right now that got everybody into crypto gaming, or at least got me to start exploring the crypto gaming space, and I'm sure many, many others. Um, so I want to check one thing because I don't believe the market cap here is correct, but the fully diluted market cap based on the total supply of 240 million should be correct, where if we take this two point, uh, I'm sorry, we take the 200, uh, sorry, not 2.4, 240 million, the total supply of SPS will be 3 billion. Now it's gonna be a couple of years before we get there, but the fully diluted market cap of Splinterlands, or sorry, not Splinterlands, but of SPS is sitting at about 2.7 billion. And you get that with simple math of 3 billion times the 0.9. Where is Axie Infinity? And I will say, I need to stress this. I need to stress this before I click on Axie Infinity. There are different games, different player bases. We, it's, it's not comparing apples to apples, but I want to show you why I'm still bullish on SPS. And that's because Axie Infinity has a fully diluted market cap of 33 billion. Now, does that mean we are going to get to 33 billion and essentially do like an 11x from here? No, no, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. But the fact that the crypto gaming space still seems so small and yet the largest, the largest game in the space is at 33 billion. And, and Axie's had its issues, but they're working through it in the same way that Splinter Lens is going to have its issues, but we'll work through it. I believe very strongly in the dev team. It just shows me that there's still room to grow. I, I don't I don't know. Look, <laughs> I would love an 11x. I would love a 10x. I would love an 8, 9, 7, 6, whatever x that that we can we can do on SPS. All I'm saying, I don't. I'm not saying that we're gonna get there. I'm not saying that we're gonna get there tomorrow. I'm not saying that we're gonna get there next year. I'm saying that this game is awesome. That the crypto gaming space is still very small, and there is a lot of money, both investor and I'm sure retail money, like us, right? People who are just playing the game that is flowing into the space. And what I love, love, love about this versus the Bitcoin kind of for your having cycles and, and kind of market, uh, just market turmoil that happens from time to time, bull and bear markets is the fact that people don't stop playing games, right? SPS could go back to 20 cents today and I would still be playing Axie Infinity. Or sorry, not Axie Infinity. Uh, I would still be playing Splinterlands. So 
that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Again, I know this is a little bit more technical. There's a lot of people who are just in this for the game. But, um, you know, if you, if you know me and if you've been watching these videos, I was an investor first. I came for the investment. I stayed for the game. And these are some of the things that get me still excited about not just being a player, uh, but being uh, you know an, an investor in the space and being a player, why why the hell not? I mean, why, why wouldn't I want to be playing a game that has a very l rapidly growing player base and has assets that are appreciating in value and just a solid overall game economy? So that's all I have for you guys in today's video. If you find this stuff useful and are getting value out of it, I would very much appreciate you considering a like and subscribe on the channel or on this video. Uh, it's a free and easy way to support the channel. And for those of you that leave a, a thoughtful comment, something engaging and that provides value to the community that we're building here, uh, please make sure to leave your in-game username because on a weekly basis, meaning tomorrow, I will be going through doing my weekly Q&A videos and sending a little DEC to all of, the th uh, all of the comments that are adding some value here. So that's all I have for you guys. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, night, whenever you end up listening to this. I will catch you all in the next video and I'll see you around the game.